she's pretty. She looks like a fairy princess. That's me. That's my wedding picture. You look so young. Well, I wasn't always 83. How much more is 83 than five? Too much. Oh, much too much. That's a picture of my husband, Francis. Oh, we were so happy together. And who are these babies? They're my babies. Three girls. No, one's a boy. I'll show you a picture of them when they were grown up. Now, that's Susan, and that's Myra, and that's Richard. Isn't he handsome? This is pretty. That's a card that Myra sent. Oh, speaking of postcards. Oh, it's that time. Home. All right, darling. I'll see you later, sweetheart. been your mailman for 10 years now, and I've always wondered, what do you do with your time on the days I don't deliver? <laughs> I hate to admit it, because it makes me sound old. But you know, not long ago, I stood here for the best part of an afternoon before I realized it was Veterans Day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. And I'm also sorry that the only thing I have for you is a utility bill. Well, it's better than nothing. Not much. I'll do better by you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Mike. Other than that, son, it's been a rather quiet autumn. I would surely love to see you and Anne and the twins. 
I'll bet they're getting so big I'd hardly know them. Please do write when you can. I'm so proud of all of you. I'll never cease to dream of letters from my family. Sharon. And how is my little Rachel? I'm fine, thanks. I just came down to get my mail. Well, you better be careful, Leafy. The way you chase after that mailman, <laughs> why people might start to talk. He hasn't been here yet, has he? Yes. My mail's here already. Oh. Why don't you let me bring you the mail? I have to come out anyway, and it would save you the walk. No, no. It's one thing I look forward to. All right. Have you heard from Myra lately? Not lately. She did send a card from Spain and said that she would be home for Christmas for sure. I think of all our school chums, she's the most successful. Oh, I'm proud of her. But I do worry when I don't hear from her. She doesn't write often? Not anymore. Do come and see me on cookie day, Rachel. I'll look forward to it. Chocolate chip? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's great, Lizzie. Well, we must be off. They'll wonder what's taking us so long. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Come and see me. done for her birthday. Oh, I'll make it all right. That's a good job. Even if I do say so myself. is right there in the oven. Mm. How is your family? Noisy. The baby has been crying all day long. Oh, but don't you know a family can be so lovely even if they are bothersome sometimes. You're the only person I know that lives all alone. Really? Why don't you go live with your children? What? Why, I... This is my home. My father built it. My husband... Uh, fixed it up and has kept it up. You know, my first baby was born here, right there in the bedroom. Really? Why wasn't he born in the hospital? Babies were born in homes in those days. And though my house is getting old-fashioned, I guess, I'm still very comfortable here. You can come and live with us if you want. Oh, that's sweet of you. Thank you very much. But I'm fine. Oh, I get a little lonesome for my children and my grandchildren once in a while. 
but I'm fine. Susan, are you still there? Yes, Mama. One of the children just picked up the upstairs phone. I tell you, they're a handful. Yes, and a joy. Oh, they grow up so fast. Well, that's true, but they keep me going every minute. I know. Well, I better hang up, Mama. What's that? I'm going to hang up, Mama. I'll call again in a few weeks. Well, drop me a note. Now, the telephone's all right, but I can't reread our conversation. And sometimes I can't even hear. I can't hear you, Mama. I'll call again in a few weeks. What? I'll call again. Call that guy. Stop that, McLean. I beg your pardon. What do you mean, stop that? Call that. Oh, that was Charles. I love you, Mama. Bye-bye. What? The phone bill. I've got to go. Oh. Bye. Bye-bye, dear. I'm sorry, Lethe. Nothing today. Thanks, Mike. We appreciate all you do for Mother. You're a dear friend. I really don't mind, and I'll try and do more because she... It's settled, Sharon. A rest home is the only answer. We worry about her there alone. If you could just ride or visit more often... No, it's settled. Richard's found a home near his place. I'm to write and tell Mother our decision immediately. But Myra... She'll have her own room, constant care, three good meals, and have people her own age to visit with. Oh, it'll be wonderful. Oh, it'll break her heart. Please, Sharon. We love Mother. We're just doing this for her own good. Oh, gotta run. I've got a call on another line. Like I say, I'll write Mother all the details. All right. She can't hear well enough on the phone. Thanks again for everything. Goodbye, Myra. Bye. Oh, what a nasty day. You know, Francis, if you hadn't gone off and left me a young widow, I wouldn't have to tramp out to that mailbox today. <laughs> I'm so lonely. But we'll be together again someday. I used to enjoy going shopping, but now it's just rush, rush, rush. Just wears me out. Here, I'll get the door. I think I've got to sit down on it. Are you all right? Oh, just a little sh short of breath. I've never heard your name before. It's unusual. Does it have any special meaning? Yes, it has. My parents were very happy when I was born. Their first daughter. They wanted to give me a special name. So they called me Lethe, which means always to remember, never to forget. That's beautiful. And oh, I had such a happy childhood. Speaking of children, have you heard from any of yours lately? Not for ages. I'm way past due a letter, a card, or something. Someone will write soon, I'm sure. Oh, I've got to get back to my family. I'll call or drop in tomorrow. Thanks again. Goodbye, dear. Bye-bye. Here 
Harvey D. Resident? Why, well, I haven't had a letter in months. And you give me one marked resident? Even if I did have a letter, I don't think I could deliver it. Your name on the mailbox is so blurred I can hardly read it. Be off with you. You no good tease. <laughs> bye bye. If he can't read my name on this box now, <laughs> he'd better get a new pair of glasses. <laughs> what a lady. <laughs> she painted it. What a shame, there's nothing to leave her. Jumping can wear us out. Who do these? My grandchildren. I thought they were older than little kids. Oh, they are. They sent these years ago when they were small like you. Oh, so these are really old. Yes. My grandchildren are busy in school now and with jobs and church and friends. Oh, I guess they just don't have time to send me things anymore. If these are old, Fifi, then why do you want to keep them? I love them, child. They bring back such happy memories. Don't you ever send things to your grandparents? Sometimes. How would you like to draw them a picture now? Yes, I'd love to. I'll get the chair. And I'll get the paper and the crayons. At last, it's from her kids. It's about time. The children.
Hold on, Lethe. The ambulance will be here any minute now. Lethe. Lethe. Sure. Yes, Lethe. Sure. sure. I'm so sorry, Myra. There was nothing any of us could do for her. She went quickly? Yes. Without much pain? Yes. Did she say anything? Yes, she was able to say a few words before what she... What did she say? What? Well, she just said... Tell them I was so happy to get their letter. <laughs> 